we continue our coverage in the trial of Alec Murdoch, which is now in its second week. Today, testimony continued with a heavy focus on gun-related evidence found at the scene after Murdoch's wife and son, Maggie and Paul, were killed. Now, Maggie and Paul were found violently shot to death at the family's hunting property in Colleton County back in June of 2021, and Murdoch is charged in their deaths. Now, Murdoch's legal team took every opportunity to try and get certain evidence thrown out. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkel has more from Walterboro tonight. The defense objected every single time the state presented a firearm to admit into evidence in court today. They argued that that wasn't relevant to the case. They said there was no evidence linking those firearms to the murders. The state finally replied and take a listen to what they had to say. It is very important to show the extensiveness of the investigation that was done, particularly as it goes to firearms, and there were multiple guns that were tested, and there will be an analyst list here later to show how those guns were tested and what the results of those. So admitting these guns into evidence to show the extent of what was tested is very relevant, Your Honor. The state is walking the jury through every step investigators took on June 7, 2021. This is body worn camera footage from senior special agent Croft. The state played through almost the entire video, which Croft says they were using to document what things looked like before investigators began moving things around. The state showed footage of Croft collecting that evidence with another officer, and they even showed footage of Croft searching through the trash at the hangar by the kennels for evidence. In the video, you could see him pulling out empty ammo boxes and a credit card statement. One of those transactions was circled, and it was a purchase made at Gucci for just over $1,000. So both that credit card statement and those empty ammo boxes were also entered into evidence. Reporting in Walterboro, Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News. And stay with us. We'll have continuing coverage of the trial for you right here on Fox Carolina. You can also watch that streaming throughout the day when you download the Fox Carolina app on your Roku, your Apple, or your Fire TV.